Oh, hello. My name's John. Welcome to my studio, where I make hit songs like the one you just heard me playing. Today, we'll look at the equipment I use and try to put something together. So come on, follow me. Starting off, this is my LCD screen two-channel mixer, which is pretty much all anyone ever needs for the mixing and asbestos purposes. Running into that, mostly for compression and extra lives, we have the Super Nintendo. It's been helpful on a number of projects and for defeating gaming. For my Oki ambience, I have a Kachina doll set up. This one wards off river trolls. Here we have a Shure SM57 instrument mic for vocals. It costs about $100 at most music retailers. And for a bit of inflated vocals, I run the mic through this air pump. The results have been fulfilling. I plug it in right here, and it just does wonderful things. So highly recommend it. In regards to my bass setup, my bass being on the left, I run it through this puppy. Not only adorable, but he brings some much needed growl and low end to my bass tones. There are a few amazing features, including quarter and eight inch adapters, as you can see behind the ears. But my favorite part must be its MIDI capabilities. My guitar setup is a variation of the flashlight, which gives me much lighter and cleaner tones. And as you can see here, I'm currently running through a lightsaber, which has much warmer and crunchier tones. Here we have a Moog Little Fatty synthesizer on loan. Thanks, Pat. It was constructed by a Brian Eno clone from the future from the remains of Herbie the Love Bug. And I've been running it through hair clippers. They function as a good wave manipulator, but just for a good shave. The songwriting process can be long and challenging, but let's use some of my equipment to see if we can make something special. When working on music, it's important to have your track levels balanced. So I put on my trusty headphones, and once ready, I press this button, and that drops the bass. That sounds pretty good. Now that we have all the parts recorded, let's mix the rest of the song. This happens to be the most peaceful and relaxing part of the music process for me. That was easy. Now that we're done, let's listen to the final product. 